Good day again, math learners. So for this video, we're going to have the discussion on how you're going to answer the engagement, assimilation, and assessment part of the Learner's Pocket of Mathematics 9 for quarter 3, week 6. So let's start with the engagement part. So for the engagement part, we have a learning task. So for the first question, it's asking how do you find the scale factor of the similar polygon. So you're going to discuss here, how are we going to compute for the scale factor of your similar polygons. Then for number two, you have to illustrate first the two triangles, ART and PEN. So you're going to be given with triangle ART, A, R, T, and then your triangle P, E, N. So given these two triangles, so we're going to complete the statement. So we're going to give here the tick marks. So to identify which angles are congruent. Okay. So you can identify already which angles are congruent. So let's say angle A is congruent with angle P. Then you're just going to continue which is congruent to angle R and which is congruent to angle T. Then on this part, we're going to find the proportional parts. So we start with AI, AR over PE. Then, okay, I'm going to give the second part which is RT over second two parts which is EN. Okay, so just going to identify the other two parts here for to complete the proportionality. Then for number three, you're going to complete the statement just like the triangles given on number two. So you're given with your polygon PQRST is similar to your polygon TUVW. Then we're going to identify which are the parts which are congruent. So we are given here with R and V, S, and W, we have P, we're going to use three tick marks, and that will only be three, one, two, three, and then for you, one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four. So for us to identify which parts are congruent, then we're going to identify also the proportionality. <clears throat> so in this part, we have uh, you're just going to use these two parts. Okay. So you're given with PS. So PS over TW is equal to SR over, so we're just going to give this one, SR over WV. And which is also equal to RQ over VU. Okay. Then the last one is PQ over TU. So we're going to use this one to find the value of X. So that's 4 over 6. That's SR over WB is equal to RQ, which is 6 over X. So let's identify first the scale factor. Just going to get the lowest term of 4 over 6. That is 2 over 3. So by... 2 over 3 is equal to 6 over x by cross multiplication. So 2 times x, that is 2x. Then 6 times 3 equals 18. Then divide both sides by 2. So that means the value of x is equal to 9. So I've already given the uh, answer for number, for number 3, letter A. So the value of x. Then you're just going to get the congruent angles. Then the scale factor is already given. Let's proceed with number. So number four is asking for what triangle similarity theorem is used or to prove that the, a triangle ADE is similar to triangle ABC. So I'm just going to give you the two sides or the two angles or the sides which are congruent or proportional here. So we're given with already this is a given that angle D is con congruent with angle B. That is given. Then we're given with angle A is congruent with angle A. That is reflexive property. 
So, we already have two angles. And then by AA, similar theorem, we can say the triangle ADE, ADE is similar with triangle ABC by AA similarity theorem. So, the proof here is that by AA similarity theorem. The number five, we're going to identify the three triangles which are similar and then the corresponding proportional parts. Okay, so we start off with the three similar triangles and then what you're going to do, kayo na lang kukuha na corresponding parts na a proportional. So, the three triangles which are uh, similar here is triangle. Let's start with the small uh, leg which is LU going to the hypotenuse, LUC, similar with triangle RUL, and similar with triangle RLC. Then, your task is just to get the proportional sides. So, that's all for the engagement. Let's proceed with the assimilation. So, for the assimilation, we have five questions. So, the first question is asking also for how do you find the similar polygons? So, first question is how do you find the similar polygons? Then, so I'm just going to explain on that part. The number two, are all squares similar? Explain your answer. So, why is this question included here? So, if you're going to notice all squares, all angles are congruent. So, it's all 90 degrees and the square's side is also congruent. So, how are you going to explain that all squares are similar uh, regardless of their size? So, are the all squares really similar? Explain that answer. So, for 1 and 2, you need to explain. So, for number 3, we need to... Uh, justify. So, using the figure on the right, are the two triangles similar? So, we're given here, so we're going to give a angle R is congruent with angle R by vertical angle theorem. Then, we're just going to find the parts of the triangle which is also proportional. So, if we're going to notice here, 2 becomes 4 on this part. Okay, let's just use this tick mark for proportionality. Then 3 becomes 6. Okay, so what happens to the side? So the size doubled. So the angle is congruent, the size doubled, or the side doubled, so it's proportional. So we're just going to justify use similarity theorem. Oh, the similarity theorem that we can use. So I'm just going to give the similarity theorem. And then just for you, so, kayo na yung bahala kung paano nyo siya explain So, on this part, so we have two sides which are proportional and an angle which is congruent. Then, for number four, you're given with triangle CUP and triangle JAR. State the proportions that must be true if triangle CUP is similar to triangle JAR by SSS similarity. So, so number four, letter A. So, you're just going to give the proportional parts. Okay? So, I'm just going to give the answer for examples for number 4. So, for a clue here, so you're, that is CU over JA is equal to UP over AR and equal to CP over JR. It's because we must have three triangles or three sides which is proportional. Then for letter B, given that the statement that shows the proportionality of the three corresponding sides, okay, ang bibigyan naman natin dito is the triangle. So given the sides which are proportional, we're going to name the two triangles. So we're just going to give the answer here for number four. So we're given with triangle, muna muna tayo sa numerator, that's T, R, Y, First three letters, and then we have O U T. Triangle O U T. So we just used the two, uh, the two first three letters used in here. Okay, so we have triangle T R Y is similar with triangle O U T. So it, for number four B. Number five, how do you solve 30, 60, 90 tri right triangle given only the hypotenuse? So, if you're given with the hypotenuse, 
Okay, you're just going to explain. Okay, so we're just going to give the formula here. So we have here the 60, the 30. So the question is, how are you going to find the other parts of the triangle if you're given is just the hypotenuse? Remember, the hypotenuse is twice the uh, longer leg, uh, the shorter leg. So if you're given is the shorter leg, uh, the hypotenuse, you just divide it by 2 to get the uh, shorter leg. So you're just going to write what I'm saying here. Then to find the uh, longer leg, you're just going to multiply the computed shorter leg by square root of 3. And you're done. So again, to get the shorter leg given the hypotenuse, you have to divide the hypotenuse by 2 to get the shorter leg. And to get your longer leg, you have to multiply the shorter leg by square root of 3. So I hope you understand that part. And we proceed now to our last part, which is the assessment. So we have the assessment for number 1. So complete each statement, okay, to make the statement true. So you have three. So I'm just going to answer here A, okay. For example, if two corresponding, uh, if two polygons, if for two polygons, corresponding angles are congruent, okay. The angles are congruent and the corresponding sides are proportional. So, those three keywords, so the angles are congruent and the sides are proportional. So, you're just going to answer B and C. You just have to complete. So, if the scale factor between two similar triangles is 1, then the triangles are what? If the scale factor is 1, they're just the same. So, it means they are also congruent. They are just, they're not just similar, but they are they're the same. So, to find the length of the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90, 90 triangle, multiply the length of one side by square root of, yun, sinabi ko po yun sa unang, uh, unang dalawang videos natin. So, saan siya i-multiply at makita niyo sa learner's packet niyo. 45, 45, ha, tingnan niyo. So, ang sasagutan niyo na lang is yung BNC. So, for number two, we're going to fill in the statements and reasons, just, just like our previous slides on proving. I'm going to give the first four answers. I'm going to leave you the three answers here. So, we're given here with triangle ABC is an isosceles with the base BC. DE is perpendicular with BC. So, we are given here with DE is perpendicular with BC and your FG is perpendicular with BC also. So, we're given with triangle ABC is isosceles. So, that's our given. So, reason, base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. So, ibigay lang natin yung mga base angles dito. Ano ba yung base angles? We're given with angle B is congruent with angle C. That's, that are the given uh, base angles of our isosceles triangle. Then, number 3, D is perpendicular to BC and FG is perpendicular to BC. This is our given also. So, we can reason out here also that it is a given. Then, we're given with angle BED, BED and angle CGF are right angles. So, what the reason we're going to give here? It's the definition of perpendicular. Definition of perpendicular. Because when you say perpendicular, okay, these two uh, uh, sides or these two uh, line segments form 90 degree angle. So, 90 degree, it's a right angle. So, we're just going to have number 5, 6, and 7 here. So, I'm just going to leave you with the three answers left. So, let's proceed with number 3. So, with number 3, so the following pairs of triangles are similar. State the theorem that supports your answer. So, we have three triangles here. So, we're just going to say if they are, okay, ang sasagot nyo lang dito is SSS. Similarity theorem. You have your SAS similarity theorem or your AA similarity theorem. So you have three answers here for number three. Then for number four, you have a given P is parallel to Q. 
So we have here the two letters P and Q, two lines P and Q, which is parallel. Which of the following is not necessarily true? So ang hahanapin natin dito is the statement which is not true. So this is a multiple choice. Okay, so you have to answer which of the following is not true. Okay, letter lang ang sagot nyo dito sa number 4. Okay, so I hope you understand how you're going to answer the engagement, assimilation, and assessment part of our lesson for week 3, or week 6, or quarter 3. So that's all for today. So please leave a message or leave a comment below on our comment section for each video for part 1, 2, or 3 of our lesson. So if you have any questions though, and if you have any questions again, leave comments below. Kindly like, subscribe po, and, and paki like din, paki share na rin po sa inyong mga classmates. That's all for today. Thank you. And God bless.